Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was down another half a percent today. We were actually up 1% at one point in the day. Market jumped up based on the gross domestic product report. It's kind of like the revenues of the country as a whole. I was up 2.8%, uh, which is a good number, more than expected for the second quarter of this year. Uh, and so there's lots of concerns about, you know, recession when because of Fed raised rates so much. Again, you keep getting these good GDP reports. Uh, you know, technically, a, a recession is two negative GDP reports in a row. Uh, and, you know, we haven't, are, we're not that close to that. Uh, there's worries about stagflation where you have low growth and still have high inflation. Uh, you know, 2.8% is not low growth. It's very good growth. And inflation is actually coming down. The core PCE uh, number that the Fed is looking at is at 2.57% year over year. We get the PCE report tomorrow. We'll get to see what's happening there. Uh, but I think the most interesting thing that's happening right now is that we're in the middle of this giant rotation of stocks. For example, there was 300 of the 500 companies on the S&P 500 were up uh, you know, yet today, even though the S&P was down, uh, the Dow was up, the Russell 2000 small cap stock uh, index was up 1.2% today. And so what's happening is the large stocks in these indexes, which are mainly the big tech stocks, uh, are selling off. Uh, and, you know, they've had a huge run and they're still up a lot for the year. Uh, so people are taking profits. There's been some disappointing earnings from Google and Tesla you know, this week. So uh, I think we'll see maybe some better earnings next week from some of these companies. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, but there's a broadening out of the, of the market and the money starting to flow. It's why you want to have like, you know, the whole big indexes, like the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index is a great example. It has the big stocks. It's definitely affected by the big stocks, uh, but it has all the small stocks too, which helps. So as the money moves around really quickly, like it does here, you kind of have everything. And so that's why we like to have three quarters of our money in these type of core holdings that have massive numbers of, you know, stocks and big diversification in terms of industries and those types of things too. Just in case you do get a hard rotation like we're having right now, you know, this all started uh, two weeks ago with the CPI report because it was the inflation report was better than expected. Uh, there was a record amount of short uh, on the uh, small cap index. They started covering that. If, you know, if inflation is coming down and the Fed's going to lower rates, you don't want to be shorting small caps because they'll generally do better in that environment. And so they're buying those, you know, small cap index back, buying it back, buying it back. And we ended up with a huge, that day, uh, two weeks ago, you know, the Russell 2000 was up three and a half percent. The NASDAQ was down too. So selling off the big cap stocks and, you know, uh, buying uh, back in a short covering motion, uh, the small caps. But we're now two weeks into it. We're starting to get into, I think, some more of the follow through. I know almost every rally starts with short covering, but not every short covering situation turns into a big rally, if that makes sense. So uh, we got to kind of wait and see how it goes. Sometimes it just gets enough interest and people start jumping in and new money starts coming in, you know, past the short covering. And that's how you get those kind of runs. And it seems like we're getting there uh, as far as that goes. And so, you know, that's why we've made some adjustments to our portfolio to add more small cap uh, to kind of capture some of this motion as far as that goes. Uh, but you generally want to have small cap in your investment portfolio already, uh, even though it's not performing that well, just because the money can move so quickly uh, that, you know, you might miss out if you don't already have something there. Uh, and so anyway, very interesting market, uh, very different here. You know, we've got a situation, the economy's growing okay, inflation's coming down, Federal Reserve's talking about lowering rates, earnings, you know, are okay, you know, take Tesla out of that maybe, but altogether, you know, the earnings are pretty decent, but you've got a negative market uh, that's not going to accept positive things right now. It's just the way it is. Uh, it's got a negative seasonality that's happening uh, and some sell-offs that are going on. But uh, in the end, uh, this is, a, I think, a fairly healthy situation for the market. We'll see where it goes because a downturn can turn into something bigger too. Uh, and so right now we're just letting off steam. We're rotating, broadening out the you know breadth of the market into you know other types of stocks and other size stocks. Uh, which I think is a really healthy thing because it has been quite narrow, uh, you know, for the last whatever year, uh, roughly, uh, with these big tech stocks running. So um, anyway, that's what's happening today. Uh, pretty interesting time right now to be an investor, to see what's going on and to kind of learn from these types of rotations uh, and see how long they continue. 
I'd say this one has a chance of continuing for a while only because the rotation is so big, uh, at least from what I've seen. Matter of fact, it's it's historic in terms of the separation of returns. The uh, Russell 2000 is actually up 10% this month, for example. That's a big number. So that's going to attract a lot of attention. We might see that continue uh, as far as that goes. But um, so we'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. We, I do the show. Uh, the beginning of the show, I do a summary for what I saw happening with the market. So you can join me, Talk Money with Tom on YouTube from 12.15 to 1 Pacific time. It's live. Uh, you can ask questions live if you like to, and we'll see uh, how it goes. But look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.